Well, what's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got some fantastic news for you guys to start off your day with. So let me go ahead and jump right into it. iOS 9 has been jailbroken. That's right, I mean, something that was considered to be near impossible has been achieved. So who do we have to credit for this? Well, that'd be I Hate Snow. Today he posted a video of him running a verbose boot, some tweaks, and on iOS 9, this is incredible. So let me just skim through this real quick. Basically, he's uh, basically got an older device, it's either a 5 or a 5S, and he's running an iOS 9 jailbreak on it. So let me go ahead and jump into this section right here. So he actually goes into Cydia and he does show us that he is running the latest version of Cydia, latest version of iOS 9. And the build number on this version is actually the same as GM. So uh, you can go ahead and check out his video. I'll link it down below in the description and I'll get into that in just a second. But I just wanted to, to stop and consider this. This is iOS 9 that has been jailbroken. That's just incredible. What we thought would never happen has finally happened. So like I said, he is on the GM version. The actual build number of the firmware he displayed is the same, it's 13A340. So as we all know, GM version is pretty much the final completed version of iOS 9, and we're not likely to see any changes. So what does this mean? Well, for one, iOS 9 can be jailbroken. So far, everybody thought rootless would be this impenetrable thing that we could never go through and jailbreak iOS 9, yet with this video, with I Hate Snow's work, we've seen that it's proven otherwise. iOS 9 can be jailbroken. I mean, it's getting harder and harder, no doubt, but just digging for an exploit, you know, working for it, it is achievable, and I Hate Snow has shown us that. Now, will we see this iOS 9 jailbreak from the hands of I Hate Snow? No. In the past, he has said that he will not be releasing his work for iOS 9. However, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about I Hate Snow's history. I Hate Snow is actually responsible for so many jailbreaks, most of them way back in the day, but this guy actually has jailbroken iOS 8.1.1 and 7.1 first before anybody else. So those firmwares were pretty much patches for existing jailbreaks already, yet I Hate Snow was the first to jailbreak all of those, and he pretty much showed every other developer that it is possible, and this is no exception. iOS 9 is jailbreakable, developers know that now, so they're in encouraged to work harder. So it's not so much that I Hate Snow is going to release this, it's that he's going to give motivation to other developers to do so. And we already know there are several teams working on an iOS 9 jailbreak. For one, Pangu, there's the Keen jailbreak team and Tai G. So, so many people are working to achieve a very similar goal. It really is just a matter of time until we see that jailbreak. And this makes me so happy because I was a little bit discouraged learning about all the security measures that Apple implemented into iOS 9. Uh, it was actually very discouraging. Now, what I thought was interesting was that in the video description, he said he was very surprised how similar it was to iOS 8 internally. So there are some new security measures, but he was able to overcome those and still jailbreak iOS 9, the GM version. That's pretty much the finalized build. So that's iOS 9. That gives me a lot of hope, but I wanted to talk to you guys about iOS 8.4.1 as well. So as we know, 8.4.1 patches the jailbreak and all the exploits used earlier. Now, there is good news though. Pangu actually demoed the jailbreak for 8.4.1 and I already covered that before, but what they didn't say was that iOS 9 patches two out of the three exploits they used in 8.4.1 to jailbreak it. So that means those exploits are pretty much useless in iOS 9. And they actually released the details of those exploits into the wild, so we might see some other jailbreak developers pick them up and actually release an 8.4.1 jailbreak. I mean, why let those exploits go to waste? There's a small, slight possibility we might be seeing an iOS 8.4.1 4.1 jailbreak, but of course in the future, nobody's really going to care. They're going to want to update to iOS 9 anyways. Everybody's got their full attention focused on iOS 9. Now the possibility of a jailbreak on iOS 9 would be really exciting. I mean, can you imagine having a 6S and being able to use that force touch for so much more? That opens up such a big door for tweak opportunities. It would really be exciting to see what you could do with that. But overall, even on older devices, I would still like to see an iOS 9 jailbreak. So if you guys are still on an older version, of a jailbreak remember don't update you will lose that ability you can no longer downgrade and overall guys with this video i just wanted to give you guys some hope because everybody was so adamant about ios 9 not being able to be jailbroken yet we've got i hate snow that has just jailbroken it today and that really says a lot so other jailbreak developers once ios 9 does drop they'll be working hard and remember the jailbreak is more likely to happen on ios 9.1 which will drop in november i mean why release a jailbreak on an unstable release of ios 9 
And as we all know, there will always be updates to the first firmwares of a major release. So iOS 9.1 is much, much more likely to receive a jailbreak. And that was the same case with iOS 8. We didn't see a jailbreak until way later. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit of hope if you're holding out for a jailbreak from 8.4. You know, you can always update to iOS 9 and hope to get one in the future, but I would stay on 8.4 just in case. And hopefully we do see a jailbreak soon. I would guess around November. When iOS 8.1 drops with the iPad Pro, that's the release date of the iPad Pro and iOS 9.1 is what it's going to ship with. So that's pretty much when we're looking for a jailbreak, November, very likely in December too for a Christmas release. We've seen that in the past too. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hopefully this made your day a little bit better. Peace.